Hello, today our topic is on Chapter 8, Form 4, KSSM, Respiratory System in Humans and Animals. The content standard for today's lesson is 8.1, Types of Respiratory System. The learning standard 8.1.1, Identify Respiratory Structure in Insect and in Fish. 8.1.2 Describe the adaptation of respiratory structures and their function for gases exchange in animals. The success criteria for today's lesson The first one, you should be able to identify respiratory structure in insect and describe its adaptation. And the second one, you should be able to identify respiratory structure in fish and describe its adaptation. What is respiratory structure? Respiratory structure is the respiratory surface that allows the gases exchange to occur between the organism cell and the outer environment. The bigger the size of an organism, the smaller the ratio of total surface area to volume ratio TSA over V. So, Large organisms need a special respiratory structure for an efficient gases exchange. Below are the adaptations of respiratory structures to ensure efficient gases exchange in big organisms. The first adaptation is the large ratio of total surface area to volume, TSA over V. The second adaptation is a thin respiratory structure to allow the respiratory gases to diffuse easily. And the third adaptation is the respiratory structure is always moist so that the respiratory gases can easily dissolve in them. And the fourth adaptation is the network of blood capillaries except for insects. This one will allow for efficient delivery of respiratory gases. Now, we look at the insect respiratory structure and its adaptation. The breathing system in insect is called as the tracheal system. At the site of the insect, meaning at the thorax area and abdomen area, there is an opening that we call as spiracle. Okay, that is an uh, example of spiracle. Okay, you can see here spiracle. Okay, at the at the body of the insect. So this spiracle allow the intake of air into the system just now. That is the tracheal system. Meaning air will enter from outside into the trachea system through spiracle. You can see the opening here that is the spiracle. So oxygen will diffuse from outside into the system that is the trachea. The trachea will branches into what we call as tracheoles. Okay? So these tracheoles are the respiratory surface. Meaning, the gas will diffuse into the body cell through tracheoles. So, there are few adaptations at tracheoles to ensure efficient gases exchange. The first one, there are large number of tracheoles. This is to ensure large total surface area. The second one is the tracheal wall is thin and moist. Okay, so moist is for the gases to dissolve easily and thin so that easy for the gases to diffuse in and diffuse out. Some insects have air sac at their trachea system. You can see from the picture here, these are the air sacs. So the function of air sac is to speed up the delivery of respiratory gases especially during active body movements. 
Now we look at the fish respiratory structure and its adaptation. The fish respiratory structure is called as gills. So these are the gills. So the gills are made up of a line of filaments. So you can see one line of filament, second line, third line, fourth line. That are supported by gill arch. Okay, this this one. Okay, the light blue color is the gill arch. So the adaptation for efficient gases exchange. The first one, the filaments has many thin and flat projection called as lamella. So these are the bigger picture of filaments. So each filament is made up of lamella. Lamella. Yeah. Okay. And this lamella is thin. And the second one, there are a large number of filaments as well as lamella to give a large total surface area. And the last one, the lamella membrane is thin and supply with many blood capillaries so that easier for absorption and transportation of the respiratory gases. This video only covers respiratory structure for insect and for fish. For the respiratory structure of frog and humans, we will continue in the next video, part 2. So if you want to take the quiz on the topic in this video, you can click the link down there and don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you later. Bye-bye.